Now, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Amakala Game Reserve. We're down in the Eastern Cape province of South Africa, and it's a beautiful and very rainy day. My name is Tess. Behind the camera is Morgan, and we are hoping we're going to be able to stay out for a while. Please. It's already starting to rain again, but we're going to push through for as long as we can so that we can enjoy all of the different animals that the Eastern Cape has to offer. Uh, in this little mixed group of antelope where we've started our afternoon in the clearings, we've got a mix of blessbuck and red hartebest. And it looks like they're enjoying each other's company as they lay down and have a little bit of a rest. The sun is just starting to peek through behind us, which is very confusing because there's rain in front of us. It's coming from behind those blessbuck and hartebest. Oh, oh what the zebras? <laughs> oh, we didn't even see the zebras until now. That's so funny. The sun made them glow white. They're out in the open and yet we missed them. Well spotted, Morgan. <laughs> to be fair, that zebra in the middle looks very brown. It's not really a white zebra. <laughs> but the other two that are lying on their sides having a proper sleep, they're nice and white. They're clean. <laughs> So I think this is the same pair that we've viewed a couple of times in the last week and a week or two. They've been around this area, the youngish adults. Something has caught their attention, much like those impalas, but maybe a little bit less nervous. But they have stopped and looked in the same direction a couple of times, so they're obviously hearing something that we're not. But it looks like a male and a female, the male on the left, the female on the right, the male is much, much darker. And the last few times we've seen them, he's been looking a little bit mottled. So it looks like his adult plumage is finally coming in in full force. And you can now officially see a color difference. There's a warthog in the back. Not often we get a warthog on camera. <laughs> Hello, pig. Oh, an ostrich is still nervous. Look at that. Big stretch. I was about to say he might poop. There we go. <laughs> Quite a large quantity of excrement produced by an ostrich. And it looks like these two are on a lunchtime mission, sharing a late lunch. Mark, see, ostriches definitely do have very different looking faces. They are quite pretty because their eyes are so big. Very, very, very big, in fact. They're a little bit far for us to see their faces. And, of course, with the rain, we are not going to get any closer. We don't off-road here at Amakala regardless. But there will also be quite a few roads closed, so we won't be able to go around to the road that's at the back of them. But they are quite beautiful animals. So uh, our luck has turned, and after nine long years for me, um, here's Ezelweni, right on the northern bank at Leopard Dam. I am buzzing with excitement. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, BK, how massive is this guy? He's huge. So born somewhere around... Um, the late 1970s to uh, early 1980s, Ezelweni is uh, roughly 40 um, or 45 odd years of age. Certainly one of the largest tusked elephants in the Greater Kruger. Not presenting us with the, the clearest view of his face at this stage, but oh my goodness, this guy is impressive. As we came around the corner, he was uh, almost up on his hind legs, uh, reaching up into one of these leadwoods to try and break a branch. Chase, definitely awesome stuff. I've waited so long to see this guy. So, so, so long. Yeah, I'm very pleased to see that um, he's done so well. And I can't believe it, those tusks have, have grown since I last saw him. He is massive. So in the absolute prime of his life and completely surrounded by Ascaris, these younger males just hoping to uh, take some life lessons from this immense bull. 
Certainly, Mandy. He's a big, impressive gentleman. Sure. Yeah, and he's um, maturing like fine wine. It's just getting better and better. Again, I last saw him almost a decade ago, about 50 kilometers north of here. Um, and another reserve I used to guide at, uh, where he used to frequent at certain parts of the year. He was big then. Uh, he's absolutely massive now. Goodness me. Like something out of the Ice Age. It looks like a mammoth. A wonderful frontal view on those uh, tremendous tusks. Uh, Lawrence, um, not necessarily. Um, elephants, though, uh, do do quite regularly break tusks. Uh, now, those tusks are teeth. They grow fairly continuously, but they don't have the, um, the ability to regenerate them. So many older elephants tend to have tusks uh, broken down to almost stumps. To some indication, um, the quality of an elephant's tusks and the fact that they are not sort of chipped and broken is an indication of that elephant's personality, in particular when it's in must. An elephant with um, ivory that's completely ragged and snapped all the way down to uh, the root is probably an elephant that's uh, quite likely to be confrontational because when he is in must, he tends to fight. A bull like Ezelwini with perfectly formed tusks, no damage on them at all, is a male that's um, probably a, a, a lot less likely to be temperamental. I think he has such power and such status amongst the elephants locally that um, he doesn't really need to use too much violence. A whole lot of respect comes with, uh, with being that large. The sun is starting to set, so there's this beautiful, beautiful golden light. I see elephants on the other side of me, guinea fowl on one side and cheetah in front of me. This cheetah is now looking over at the elephants. The elephants are kind of out of our direct view. If they come closer, you will know about it though. Um, but also to let you know, because the sun is setting and we have three cubs here. We won't view them after dark. So I'll close the sighting um, in a little bit. <laughs> Hi, RPA. Thank you. Thank you very much. You say hooray for me. Hooray indeed, because today has been the most amazing day. Most amazing day. Isn't it just, Catherine? Isn't this is, oh, such a treat? This is just too lovely. What more could I ask for? I'm going to be quiet for a moment. Of course, please send through your questions and your comments, your excitement. Because I am, I am so excited that I'm, I'm completely scattered. It is just insane to see this amount of spots. So yes, very envious. But it's all right. We've also got our own elephants here in the Sabi Sands. As you can see, we've got a nice herd of elephants that's just come down for a good old afternoon drink. Well, the female looks like they're just taking a little bit of time off here now. You can see they're not too much in a rush after having some more water. But of course, this is now exactly the time where 
the matriarch, of course, as usual, oldest, the most experienced female yeah, in the herd. And uh, she will decide, okay, well, where to go and when to go. So they rely a lot on, uh, on they put their, a lot of trust on her shoulders. Oh, look at a young male. Yes, as you can see, it is a young boy. Showing off. There's still one left. One. Oh, doesn't like that. Andrew, the video guy, you had a great drive and you loved this awesome sightings. Thank you so much, Andrew, the video guy, for always being so positive and always being so awesome yourself. You never have anything but nice things to say and it is very much appreciated. I'm excited to see what tomorrow has in store. I always get excited about the sunrise. Way more than I do the sunset. <laughs>